Red Street. Anne Bradstreet was born in 1612 in England. Her father Thomas Dudley was a steward for the Earl of Lincoln and a Puritan leader. She did not attend school but she had private tutors and access to her father's library. She had learned history, literature, and several languages such as Greek, Latin, French, Hebrew, and English. For a woman in that period, she was very well educated. At the age of 16, she married Simon Bradstreet, and she had 80 children. In 1630, Anne and Simon, along with Anne's parents, immigrated to America abroad to Arbalashab as part of the great immigration of Puritans. Her father served as a governor for Massachusetts Bay Colony from 1634 to 1650. Her husband was also a governor. Living conditions in Massachusetts were equally harsh and challenging. Moreover, she wrote poetry in her spare time. She wrote for herself, not for publication. Her poems were under the title The Tenth Muse Lately. She added poems and edited a second edition, making her the first poet and the first female writer in the British North American colonies to be published. In her memoir, she wrote of America, I found a new world and manners at which my heart rose up in a protest. Though her men had social prominence, any woman who sought to use her wit, charm, or intelligence in the community at large found herself ridiculed, banished, or executed by the colonist powerful group of male leaders. Anne Bradstreet died in 1672 at the age of 60, of 60.